Sophia from Otaku Press. Who's Sophia? Hola, soy Sofía de Otacupres y hoy les vengo a contar todo sobre la visita de McKenyu al Perú. Zoro, de Life Action de One Piece, fue el segundo invitado del Geek Festival 2023, un evento que se realizó desde el 7 de diciembre al 21 de diciembre en el Circuito Mágico del Agua. Aquí tuvimos muchos ambientes dedicados a la cultura asiática, principalmente a las aficiones del anime y el manga pero también tuvieron grandes invitados, entre ellos dos miembros del elenco de live action de One Piece que está disponible en Netflix. El primer Mugiwara que arribó al Perú fue Taz Skylar que dejó impresionados a la audiencia y ya tengo un video aquí en Otaku Press sobre su visita. Así que ahora es el turno de McKenyu que tuvo dos días también para sorprendernos en el escenario del Geek Festival 2023. I started training katana martial arts when I was a kid. So, obviously, I hustle up the discipline. You have to put in uh, to achieve the goal. Well, I didn't think I was going to be an actor, uh, to be honest. <laughs> It just came to me one day. So, I guess it just came, it just came naturally. Caliente. It's actually quite a challenge to play these characters, obviously. Um, you really have to balance between the anime and the live action and those anime characters. And, right, they're all very unique, so... Uh, <laughs> I went, I went through a lot of auditions. Um, they did. They didn't say it was for Zero at first, but after they told me, I was very excited. <laughs> That dude over there. It was the hardest. Why was it hard? Why was it hard? Um, <laughs> I was away from home for nine months, and that was very hard for me. But other than that, you know, One Piece is, is gigantic. Everyone knows what One Piece is, and, and this was a show for everyone out there in the world, so uh, it was a lot of pressure. So yeah. I know One Piece is a classic, but it's then I realized how global it is and how big of an impact it is to all the fans all over the world. Season one, Zoro, not much. No, okay. Season two. Five, maybe better. Oh, no, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I get lost sometimes too. Well, that is it. You know, I've said. I've said Chopper before. Uh, I love Chopper, but... Oh man, there's so many Bunkre. How do you Bunkre? Um, Bunkre, Ivankov. Um, 
You see, I love any Islami. Uh, uh, uh. Is it okay? Is it working? It's working. Are you bored? You know, I love. Um, uh, never Sanji. I'm glad that guy's not here today. ¿Cómo fue conocer y pasar tiempo con Ichiro Oda? ¿Verdad? De creador de One Piece. So they say, We know that you love One Piece since forever. How was meeting and spending time with Ichiro Oda? Oh. One Piece's manga creator. Can you share any anecdote of the cast with him? That question is from Sofía from Otaku Press. Sofía from Otaku Press. Who's Sofía? <laughs> we, um, I never met him on set. I met him after we shot season season one. It was an honor to meet him and the whole cast. We actually went to his house and had lunch. So uh, oh, crazy, crazy time, uh, right? Nerve breaking. It was a miracle. Nunca lo conocí en set, pero sí después de grabar la temporada 1 de One Piece y fuimos con todos los actores a comer a su casa. Fue una locura. Dice que fue un milagro. Thriller Bark. It's, it's, uh, and it's much further in the story. I don't know about season six, yeah. maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to do the scene with with that dude over there and and Kuma and yeah. iconic scene. Me gustaría hacer una escena con él. Aha. Si escuchara Murder Thriller, but you already gave us an answer, but I'm gonna ask you. Okay. Anyways, we know Thriller Bark is a very important arc for Sorrow and the fandom. How was for you to watch it the first time that scene, and how excited are you to do it in the live action? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what did you feel when you watched that? Um, when I when I saw it, it's very emotional. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Did you cry? But I will be very thrilled to play that scene. That scene is what I'm looking for forward next. Oh yeah, I will. Yeah? I'll be ready. How was preparing for Sorrow mentally? Preparing for Sorrow mentally. Um I trained physically for it. Yeah. Um so the mental part came naturally. We were training for months, and I was preparing for months too. Mm -hmm. And and I was actually trying to be the best swordsman. Estuve entrenando por mucho mucho tiempo y intenté ser el mejor con las espadas. Mucho mucho libre. Esta es una anécdota que definitivamente les quería compartir y es que yo creo que nuestro Zoro es completamente canon en el live action y se los digo porque luego de firmar la escultura de Zoro también se animó a dejarle un mensaje a su amigo Taz Skylar que por cierto seguía en el Perú y que pasó Navidad aquí en nuestro país.
Ojalá que para el 2024 tengamos más Mugiwaras aquí y por supuesto en toda América Latina. Nos vemos en un próximo video.